sounds on. All right, let's see. The vet wrap should be there in a box that arrived today, seeing as Walter doesn't mess with his, you probably don't need any extra. I have gone through Carlene's whole supply of four inch vet wrap. <laughs> I, uh, it's insane. I gotta use a whole roll twice a day, sometimes three times a day if he sucks on it. So uh, today, yesterday we did our uh, third surgery. Uh, we attached tubing instead of Velcro, uh, kind of like little mini chest tubes is what we used. Um, we thread, we threaded shoe strings through them and then we attached them on the sides of the hole and sewed it down in a few places. And then we looped, then we did sutures through the chest tube and made little suture loops and padded the middle with gauze and then pulled everything together and tightened with the shoestrings. So we did, did that yesterday at one o'clock um, and then went home. He's always a little weird after surgery and this was a quick surgery. We only used the Ket valve, or I think that's what it's called, on him. Um, so we didn't intubate him or anything. It was just like he was, felt like he was still kind of there. It was awkward. It was weird. But I got, they dremeled his nails for me for free. So that was cool. <laughs> um, but he woke up hard and fast out of that. Um, and then we went home and I didn't touch the bandage. And I went back this morning and George took everything off. And we noticed that the tubing was now squeezing up higher. And it was like actually right on the, the hole. And I pointed it out, and George's like, oh, yeah, yeah, good eye. Like, let's let's suture it lower real quick. So Walter's just laying there, and we moved the tube down about a half inch on each side and re-sutured. He just lays there. Like, he, he doesn't even move. Like, he'll, he'll get up and look, or sometimes he won't even look at all. And George is just like, I love this dog. You can do anything to him. So we did that this morning. George wrapped it up. Um brought him here and then I think the wrap lasted till about noon and then he chewed a hole Shannon called me she's like he chewed a hole I can see shoelaces I'm like great so I came in he had a hole and his shoelaces were hanging out of it so I was like oh my gosh so I brought him into the ice house I laid him flat unwrapped the whole bandage and he had he hadn't chewed the strings he had untied the shoelaces laces so it was an easy fix I just had to retie recover it and then rewrap it and I did an extra amount of padding around the spot where he starts to lick so even if he does start to lick it we have a little bit more time I think before he gets to the good stuff so I have to do that bandage change every six to eight hours so um I will do that tonight and then tomorrow so it's a lot of fun going through our whole supply of gauze rolls and vet wrap. So anything that can be sent to us will be greatly appreciated. So that is the Walter update. Um, everybody pray that this works, <laughs> please. If this, I we're just gonna say this is gonna work. We'll just we'll just say that. So, um, hopefully, it just stretches the skin. We get it about thirty percent more closed, and then um, we're not looking at skin graphing and that kind of stuff, which I'm not. I don't want to do. So I will do this as long as I can. I will even do another round of this string thing um, before I would do skin graphing or just constantly wrap it and hope that it covers. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm just not ready to take another piece of his skin off somewhere else and cause another problem and put it on his foot. So <laughs> we will uh, cross that bridge, but fingers crossed that this works. Uh, let's see what else happened today. My family donated a wood stove uh, for the training room. So Steve and Tom and Tanner can have heat up there, their wood stove something. So my family donated one. We got that here today. So Bud can tinker with that and um, he can tinker with it and get it all ready and then we can put it in the training room. So my family, I was just saying my 
family donated a wood stove for the training room oh. today. So we got it out of the... Upstairs? For the training room. Yeah, that's yeah. dangerous. They can't use it. They don't have heat up there. The firewalls are all gone. Bud tried to rebuild them last year, and then he said no one's allowed to... They're not allowed to light fires until we get a new one out. That yodel stove? I got a you a yodel stove. That's what we do. What I have in the driveway. Whatever stove is upstairs is not to be used. They said it would start a fire. <laughs> The game fire hazard, or <coughs> I cannot believe it. Well, you believe it because they told me, and Bud said, and I, I have three wood stoves in my house, <laughs> so yeah. um, I got my dad to get that one here today. And then we, um, <coughs> it just seems <coughs> something Bud had it's down by the uh, you can see it, we put it right next to the tool shed. So Bud can now, see young, young stoves used to last 500 years. Mm-hmm. It has walls inside that come down that are portable. I mean, yeah. yeah. But so the stove itself is not. Yeah, well, you can talk to Bud. Talk to Bud when you see him. Because <laughs> I brought it, we got a new one in there. Not, It's not a new one, it's a yodel one, too. It has pretty deer on the side and such. So I know it's like, yeah. Okay. So oh that's there. God. Yep. So we all threw it out already? Or? No, no. Where's it Are you go? serious? <laughs> I can't. I couldn't even lift the one that we had, let alone. That's what I mean. No, it's still in there. They have to re-pipe and do all that kind of stuff. So, it's still there. That's usually not to go straight up. I think through the roof. I don't do that stuff. I so that's bud. Right. Yeah, that's all bud. I put that one in. No, it's not bud. I put that one in. Does it bother you to watch the surgery and look at the wound? No. What surgery are you looking at? Walter's leg. They asked me if it bothered me. Yeah, we did it. We uh, added more stuff to it yesterday. So they asked me if it bothers me. No, it does not. Um, it's I don't I don't know. I've, the only thing that I don't like is the smell of um, cauterizing skin early in the morning. <laughs> that's really the only. That's the only time that I've been down there where I'm like, am I gonna throw up? So. Um, those infections can stink too. Yeah, yeah. Who was your star today? My star today was probably between Danica and Martina. They were both really, really good, so I would say a tie between those two. They're so sweet. I have a hot tub if you want. If you want, I, I think I'm good. <laughs> I don't have. A, we don't think we have a place for a hot tub here. <laughs> no, we don't. I've often thought of it, but there is no room. Um, That's not the last. Thing have you had time to look into a mesh graph material? I don't remember what it's made out of, but it worked great on one of my dogs years ago. I would do anything except for a skin graph. <laughs> so I really don't want to do skin graphing. So I'll do anything if we come down to that. Um, Looking. Mine is doing fine. That's great. The hole in Happy my hand. for you. That's great. People are talking about pig skin today that they put on people. People open wounds and stuff. Put a piece of pig skin in it. Does makes stuff. you fatter. Yeah, it makes you smell like bacon. I don't know. I'm not really <laughs> sure how it works. I hope you don't have to clutterize that or really have Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh gosh, funny stuff. Um, I have to go to Boston tomorrow. Oh, gosh, for what? Lawyer. All right. I don't have a ride yet. What time are you doing that at? Mid-afternoon. They I'm have, there at we have to wrap up. I don't know when they're going to... Oh, is someone getting in? I don't know when we're doing the... Um, Call from... Hold up, Jason. Triggers, aren't they? Yeah. Calendar. We have to wrap up the calendar. Tomorrow? Either it's going to be tomorrow, it's going to be either Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. I'm not even sure. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> so we'll see. That'll be good when you wrap up the calendar. I just, yeah, I'm ready for it to be over. We're early. This, this is earlier than last year, isn't it? I'm not sure. Have you heard from Serena's family? How she do, How is Serena doing? Um, I have not. I think they were up here on a Sunday. So dog looks good. Maria's happy. So that's good. Put a hot tub in the same room as the tanning bed. <laughs> yeah, I was like, right. I told myself that was like, oh, it's too short, it's too short. And then I just, I totally forgot. So I went to do it and I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, what else can we talk about here? You were running around all day for doctor's appointments day, weren't you? You were in and out, I feel like, all day. Um, True. The guy did a beautiful job on the shit. Yeah, he did. It looks didn't nice. It, didn't that look nice? Yeah, it looks good. I think that's going to work. 
I'm not too sure exactly how we're going to keep it. The donkeys don't, I don't think, are going to go through that. Walk through that? I don't think they will, because it's on a sharp hill, and they'll go along the trail at the top and the bottom. Yeah. We may have to fence it in if we, if we get good wildflowers growing, but the goal is to have that be a wildflower bed. Oh, is that what your plan is? I didn't know what you, I thought you... That was the plan as of this morning. Oh, nice. I don't know. Nice. You never know around here. I have lime to somehow get in it, and 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 winter rye to put on it to try and make it stay there. So it doesn't all come sliding down the hill. But that guy did very well. I didn't see, I think he put the fence back up too, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, I believe he did. I believe it in. The vets here locally have great success closing holes with hyperbaric chamber treatments. What? I don't even know what that is. I, I know that word. Hyperbaric chamber treatments. Sounds like a chamber you put someone in to do something weird. Yeah. <laughs> and there, it's like pressure. Pressure. Yeah, like, yeah. It helps. Weird. Hmm. The air, I don't know. I don't understand it. Yeah. <laughs> Did you'd probably be a doctor. Maybe. <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> well, Donna took Sizzle with me to the doctor today. Mm -hmm. And we did very well. I was very pleased with her. Yeah. I was very pleased until I left both of them with her and, and went into the doctor's office. It was a little confusing then. Yeah. Because they both thought they should go with me into the room. Yeah. <clears throat> but other than that, they did very well. We sat in the cafeteria for a long time, with just on a down stay with no leashes, you know, so it was, it was definitely. Hyperbaric high pressure oxygen chamber. It sounds complicated. They're forcing oxygen into your, into you. Mm -hmm. Somehow. Is it raining? No, it's the water outside. The use of hyperbaric chambers for burn victims and wounds that don't heal. Interesting. Learn something new every day. Learn something new every day. <clears throat> That's one you'll forget. Oh, that would be pretty quick. What do you do? Stick one leg in the... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I know sort of the iron lung routine from polio days, but... Oh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I, was, I was of that era. Oh. Uh, two, of my, two of my cousins were in iron lung. And then they went on to go through Paris Island. I mean, they really did recover, but they could not breathe. Oof. Scary. I wonder if there are any, there must be those iron ones. I bet they're still around. Probably. Yeah. So, lawn ornaments or something. <clears throat> Barbaric oxygen therapy is a medical treatment which enhances the body's natural healing process by inhalation of 100% oxygen in a total body chamber where atmospheric pressure is increased and controlled and it is used for a wide variety of variety of treatments such as part of an overall medical care plan. Cool. The hyperbaric chamber looks kind of like the old iron lungs except larger. Big tube device. Oh. They use it for wound care. High dose of vitamin C treatments as well as you. Yeah, I was thinking about supplement. You know, like people say, fish oil is good for your skin and health, and I don't people know, say a lot of things. Vitamin E, or it's just you know, what people can take for. People say that you don't get, you don't lose your memory if you eat jellyfish too, or something. What is it you're supposed to? Eat? I don't know. Octopus <laughs> or jellyfish or something. That's weird. You don't get Alzheimer's if you eat jellyfish. Uh, there's some commercial on about that. Late night commercial. <laughs> <laughs> It's from, it's from jellyfish, some, something that's found in jellyfish. I want to know A who, treatment is for divers who may come up to, that's the Benz. That's the Benz deal. Yeah. I would ask that. Yeah, I mean, I think that it can definitely work out to your advantage in certain situations. If you get it before, if you got pet insurance when you first got an animal, I think that that would be beneficial. But you can't get pet insurance after you discover that they have a problem because <laughs> then they won't. Any pre-existing conditions they don't cover. Uh, yeah, it's that sort of. Yeah. So if you were going to do it, I mean, I've do had, it at the I've beginning. I've had mixed that blessings. I mean, uh, my personal opinion is 
you know you're going to have an animal and you get yourself a $3,000 savings account yeah. <laughs> just for that purpose and leave it there. Yeah. Uh, and then at least you're on the way. Yeah. Um, because the big thing, of course, with Danes is the bloat, and that's going to be at two least two grand. Dollars. Yeah. Um, but just to, I've I've had people say they don't get their money's worth out of it. But mm-hmm. insurance companies aren't; they don't build those great big buildings on giving you money. No, they don't. No, they don't. So you're going to lose on the big turn of the wheel anyway. So that if is you've true. got the money, stash it, and. Uh, Go from there. There's an awful lot of people that could stand to have at least a three thousand dollar check to save the account anyway. So go at it. I think it's squid. Instead of using credit cards, yeah, and stuff like that. I think it's squid. You're thinking the black ink helps. It says no. Well, <sighs> people, je- come on now, guys. It's jellyfish. It's something that they found in jellyfish. Well, how the hell did they find it in jellyfish? Mm. Why does somebody start eating it and then they figured out it helped Alzheimer's? Yeah, I, mean, I think the it's whole weird. Thing is extremely strange. I think it's a little odd. I hear it all the time. Do you want me to leave the mic on while we search for your mail, or do you want do you want to talk? There's two. There's boxes over there, but I don't know if Pam actually returned with your paper mail, so I will go try and find it. I don't her. know. Sure. I'll go find her. I sent one of those away to China today. Okay. The black one. Yep. Yeah to see how much they would charge for those bags and how fast they could get them to us. If they can get it to us in a reasonable time, sort of before Christmas, mm-hmm. I think I'll go for it. Now, if i got to order four or 500, that's going to be a problem. That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but they are cute. They are going to be useful, I think. I think they I think they would sell. I like the ones you can see through. I don't like the ones you can't see through. Okay. Too much will collect yeah. at the bottom. You're better off with the ones you can see through. Are you the male? I am the male. Why is it a plant? Is it rain? No, but it, if I walk to the mailbox and I have too much mail, I need a bag. Well, I'm certainly glad you had a bag. Look at that. It's either that or I drop on the Don't drop the mail. the driveway. Mail dropping is not a good thing. Not a good thing. Just let me get the white for it. We go. Okay, we're on. Thanks. Black raspberry jam is still sitting here oh. because I'm still working on the blackberry jam things you made. Which were wonderful. Oh. You didn't finish them during the night? No, I didn't finish them. <laughs> that's a, that's a good but I'm working on them, believe me. Okay. Vermont Country Store. It's too bad. It's a nice thing, but I don't need to read about all the candies I used to eat. Whoops, wait a minute. Do you know what Vermont Country Store has? I have at my house. It's a wood weather vane. Really? And it sticks on your wall. It's just a piece of wood. And when it's, ah. uh, it goes up and then down. It works? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll push and pull that thing out of there? And I, what? I just threw the catalog out. Oh, yeah, it's a fun one. It's, it's a fun little gift. And it does work? Yes, it does. It's I'll put that back plus one. And then I don't know what happened, it disappeared, so I bought another. And then I have a camera now in the back door that watches the backyard, so my roommate can see if someone comes up to the back door because she stays downstairs. And it was so funny because it's been so crappy that the wood was down. But then we had a real sunny day, and the wood is right in front of the camera. Um, but it works well. It's kind of a joke thing, but it's, it's accurate. It's accurate, yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll have to look at that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And some of their weird ointments and things like your, yeah. your your buttock scream or something. Some of those things work well too. My what? Well, it's, I said buttocks, but it buttocks, but it's your ass cream. They really? have stuff in there that they, they do, and they do work. That that's true. They I do. Have heard Including things like real root beer candy. Real, yeah, well. Stuff like that. Yeah. That's where I get out of control. Because I figure, well, if I'm ordering this, I'd rather order that. Last time I ordered $50 worth of candy, which I needed like that all in the head, just to get a fly for it, you know? Right, I know. Okay, we have Van Gerhold, who put mailed it. 
My eyesight is not getting any better. No, I know. I have to go get my check. She says she mailed it. I don't know when. Can't read it. Okay. There you go with that one. And I'll put that in there. The Green Bay Packers are number one for fan support. The U.S. Oakland Raiders are the last. Yes, they are. Is that football we're talking it about? It is. And it's true because they are supporter driven. They're, that's why really? they remain support. Oh, I don't want to put that there. Certainly glad we found out about that one. That's a good one. <clears throat> now, when asked their license plate numbers of their cars, most of us are stumped. You're absolutely correct. I, I don't know mine. One of mine ends in 14, but I can't tell you whether it's the truck or mine. Almost half of Americans say they bring their lunch to work to save money. Did you bring your lunch to work today? No. There you are. She didn't save any money. I did not. Okay. Come on, here, let's go. There you go for your three. You'll be happy to know I have tried to arrange for lighting for you after the change of. Wow. It's either you or the dog, but I think it's a good thing. Yeah, we're going to go four laps See, today. Oh. Come on, sis. Come on, Benny. Come on. You're doing four laps today. We're going to do four laps today. Whoa. We're, we're, we're getting chaos slowly into it. That's not, not going to hurt any of you, hopefully. Uh -uh. Okay, come on. All right. When you, what did you do so far? All right. Anything? No, no that was my McDonald's check. Okay. <clears throat> Network for good. That's got to be an interesting thing. I'll tell you what, Linda! Oh, dear. <laughs> Hurry up. It's going to get dark. Yeah, no, the, uh, that, that, God, uh, Costco rebate thing. I, I understand what you said. I just don't believe it. No, I don't either. I'll okay. call them. Well, we add it up first and then see. Yeah, no, I'll go, go on ahead. the site and see what we have and then. Right. All right. The problem there is they give you 1% if you use their credit card all over the place. We get a hell of a Costco bill every every month and we just had a hundred and seventy four hundred and sixty four dollar rebate. That's I just don't think that's right. Mm. Yeah, that would mean something like eight thousand dollars or we get about a three thousand dollar a month bill. What did they say? What did, how what's that? It's it's if you use their card, their credit card. Right. It's one of these rebate things. You're supposed to get one percent on all your purchases and oh. two percent on gasoline and yeah. you know, restaurant or whatever. Well, we use it mostly on purchases out of Costco. Here's a big envelope with nothing on it. Okay, this is Network for Good. I got so, so excited about it. I thought that was a 5108, but it's not. It's a dollar sign 108, but whatever it is, it's better than nothing. <laughs> there we go. Okay, <coughs> Network for Good. I don't know how we get that. Oh, I see. Well, has things here to read. Never accept your donation tracking report. You will need the information on this stuff to log in the first time. Anonymous. Donated on Facebook. 2520. Huh. Well, that's apparently people just donating money. Oh, I see. There are, <coughs> <coughs> there are some names in here, but it said something about don't read it. Interesting. <coughs> Apparently it's money donated via Facebook. <coughs> well, okay, so that's $108.47. The odd bit is because they took out a percentage, but not too much. They didn't take out very much. Network for good. Oh, there's a direction. We'll put that in the pot, too. 
Capital One Quicksilver. That's an ad, isn't it? I don't, don't have a Capital One anything. What Quicksilver customers seem to be saying, cash back, no strings attached. And limited 1.5 cash back on every purchase every day. Isn't that wonderful? Well, that's what I mean. I think we uh, somehow that Costco thing just did not work out right. So we got to get a calculator out and check it. Value pass. Here, you can have those. I don't want those. I don't do those. Association of University Women. Raphael. Raphael. Now, I'll just I'll read that later. But, university. What makes the difference between a university and a college? I don't know. Money? I think a university has colleges, separate colleges within it, you know, like the University of High State would have a college of dentistry, a college of law. Uh, but a college is just like um, Okay. That's what that's I always that's used that's to think. Could that be. Might not I also have the feeling that a university offers advanced degrees. That could be. Masters and doctorate degree degrees. Mm -hmm. And colleges don't. Mm -hmm. Both 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 those statements could be true though. Oh sure. <laughs> because they could yeah, et cetera. <clears throat> we'll worry about that. That's as bad as all the carbon all those cookies we did the other day. Carbon cookies? You weren't in on that? Steve and I got into an argument about how many cookies there were in the Purina. And the, okay. and the square, the little square ones. Yeah. So I decided to count them. And then we got an argument about what was an entire cookie. And what was the one that had a piece missing. Right. And I said if it had a piece missing, it was not a whole cookie. Okay. And he said, well, that, most of the cookie was still there. It was a cookie. And we had a, we had a grand time over that. What was the end result? You can't decide what is partial cookie. It's either a whole cookie or it's not. <clears throat> so I counted. There was 188 perfect cookies in that box. And there was, I think, 92 pieces of cookies because he counted those. Okay. And then we had to decide how small, how small a piece of cookie counted. And it turned out that if you can't blow it off the stool, it wasn't, you know, <laughs> it got complicated. Anyway, I sent all the results to Purina, and they were very happy to get them. Get them. I think we're crazy, but that's all right. Okay, we're not gonna do that one either. <coughs> that's it, a lot of cookies. It, well, well, it didn't take me very long, I was. No, but that's a lot of cookies in a box. Well, what I wanted to know was, if I give a box to somebody and say, here, go give every dog on the property a cookie, were there gonna be enough? Yeah. Or should I say, give them two cookies or three cookies? Right. Turns out, you know, about three cookies. Yeah. Each. Was, there was purpose behind it to begin with. Okay, somebody wants to, they're going to give me $500 to do something. I've forgotten what. There we go. Well, they're going to do the same thing for Janine. I'll throw it out. I don't even tell her. And they're going to do the same thing for Service Dog Project. Yeah, I don't want to even talk about it. Okay, we did that. Compassionate choices. My opinions and perspectives. End of life liberty. We'll read that one and see what it has to say. Okay. I did that. Oh, that's right. I have a box to do. And a couple, couple here. Too. Oh, okay. I just to the 
Nancy Phillips. Try again, Nancy P. You can always count on them. <coughs> Yasso. Is that the sandwich? Yogurt. No, the oh, yogurt. Oh, yogurt. Yogurt pot. Oh, I saw. No, you they, don't have to. We knew you did because I heard something. I said, is that a person in the fridge or a dog? Because I can hear it, away with I couldn't anything. see it. And I, then I saw you come up out of the freezer. <laughs> so I, had, I really had sort of had my dinner, and I really don't, because I just had the, I had a very late lunch at 3 o'clock, right? Spaghetti. That was good yeah. spaghetti. Well, probably if you left it there, I'd get up at 1 o'clock in the year. Yeah, I'll put, I'll put it back in there because I have a little bit. Back in the fridge, we'll start again later. But those potatoes you need to eat, too. The potatoes, they looked interesting when I saw them. Yeah. I'm throwing this out again. Now, this has Nancy Phillips. Here, you can well, oh, look at that for a minute. <coughs> this is a box. Yeah, this is a box. This is charming. We are once again marveling at the fact I have not yet cut myself with this damn thing. But time is coming. So does that explain the Elpo snap boxes that had the top sliced off? Yes. Okay. They're all ready to go. Okay, because I found those in the overflow room. I was like, okay, what's happening here? <laughs> <laughs> I was straightening up and I, I thought... a nice box. Oh, yeah. Linda will like that. Linda will like that. And the box... Oh, that's probably oh my word. It's a dog. Whoops. Oh, that's pretty. That's very pretty. A brown cloth. Wow. Isn't that nice? Do you want to go hold that up? Yeah. That's very pretty. Dancing Phillips. Georgia. Huh. That's very nice. Thank you. And here we have. Uh, and this is from Kathy Grover from Beach, California. Megan's looking for. Why on earth would they have the name Wild Cow? Oh. She just about has it, has it out of them, so this is perfect. You want some of those? I bet you this is another box with the same thing. This is, these are very nice. And we do use them. Maybe if we have enough now that men, she doesn't need them for her dog, I can get one on my hand. No, I don't need to do that. I'm doing all well with these. These gloves are, these these are not too bad. I think you get a dozen pair for a dollar or something, isn't it? <laughs> They're extremely cheap. They're the white cotton gloves that jewelers use, apparently. If you're holding handling jewelry, uh -huh. you just cut the fingers off and they work beautifully. Okay, then carry that one over to the next place. <coughs> I, I can't hardly wait to find that funny thing. And what are that stick? The funny thing? Oh, yeah, yeah. The funny? Yeah. Well, this the looks promising. This is Honolulu Cookies. Yeah. 
This is our birthing cookies. timing too because I think we just got through with the Belgian cookies over there. I saw yeah, somebody finishing them. Them I saw somebody finished. finishing those today. They said they think it was iHeart's birthday yesterday. iHeart's birthday was yesterday? Possibly. Oh. Excuse me. Clock in the mail. Tom is on overnight. They asked who's the overnight person. Okay. How was Carlene's day? Did you do any training? Yes, I did. We took, well, Bentley didn't really need training, but we took Sizzle to my doctor's appointment. Two of them which involves sitting for about an hour in the cafeteria having people go, oh, thank you. What beautiful dogs. And they're so well behaved. And they were. It was very interesting. And, and I think Donna learned a lot, too, about training in general. Donna because, Kimball. Donna Kimball. <clears throat> because when we first got there, she was hanging on to her leash a little bit tighter than I approved, but we had Donna's new at this, so I was being very careful to behave myself and not yell. So um, I finally said, no, let go of her leash, and you know, and, and <laughs> she's panting away, panting away, panting away. And uh, Donna said, is she just nervous? She's, you know, new here, what? She said, she's not all that new. She shouldn't be carrying on like that. So I told her to lie down, and the dog looked at me like, what? And I said, down, and I said, okay, you lie down. She laid down, and the minute she lay down, she was totally relaxed because she knew what she was supposed to do. If she stood up again and got confused, she started panting again. But if you gave her a command and told her what to do, she was very relaxed. And I think that was a big lesson for everybody that was standing around watching when it happened. It was mm -hmm. amazing. It was just like turning off a switch. Huh. Oh, okay. You know. Yeah, yeah. Of course, Bentley was lying flat on his side, snoring <laughs> at the same time. Uh, were Audrey and Ariat not able to be placed with people as service dogs for some reason? Audrey and we didn't try. 
Oh, so service dog. Yeah. No, I would not. I would not place a white dog. And the only reason is, it's my history in, in white animals. White horses and things are very inclined to have skin cancers. You know, you're you're looking at you can't have other issues. As a riot has had some eye problem, whatever it was, she has eye drops and it got better. Um, but a white dog is more complicated. A harlequin, you know, the more the more spots, the better. And there's just you can just uh, this this puppy that we have here is a harlequin. He's not white. I mean, he's not. You know, he'd be fine. Mm -hmm. I think. Okay. This is per Google. What is the difference between a college and a university? College, an independent institution of higher learning offering a cost of course of general studies leading to a bachelor's degree. University, a school that offers courses leading to a degree such as bachelor's, master's, or doctoral, which research, where, and where research is done. There you go. Uh, okay, somebody's telling us, Carlene, the big Costco rebate check comes in the February statement. Today's check was just the executive card rebate. That's from Graham with two boys. I don't know, Graham two boys. Well, why the hell is the executive one so little? I don't understand it. I don't know. They brag about it so much that they, I don't know, I just... Well, okay, so you're telling us we have to go back and read the directions. Well, I guess that's so. Linda's job. I'm against it. I'm so happy to see Linda using the Bailey bag for outgoing mail. She used it to deliver, to deliver the incoming mail, and now she's... Yes, the Bailey bag goes back and forth whenever we go to the post office, and folks that take mail to the post office for us use the Bailey bag. The Bailey bag has its own hanging spot in the office, and we try not to use any other bags but the Bailey bags. Isn't that one cool? Yeah. Now, I'm so glad you got <clears throat> so organized. Can you explain what happened to my pitchforks? Two of them. I do not know. I am not. I had my time, sharp time. And it had a short handle, the kind with the square at the top, you know, sort of. That, and I, I had that for years. And then I decided at one point I was going to go and just pick up stalls. You know, and just pick the manure out, and, and I bought myself a smaller one just to pick up the poop out of the stalls and shake out the shaving, and both of those are gone. Where were they last time you saw them? Did you in hang the alleyway them? of the barn? Oh. I mean, and I had a basket that went with the smaller fork. Well, the bushel basket's been gone for a long time, right? Yeah. Well, I, no, it, it appears once in a while. Oh, okay. I don't know. We might. I might try looking in the in the back of the G tent, but. I did. Oh, I don't know. Nope. Because the guy, I, I hired a guy to come in and straighten out that shit today, and he did a beautiful job. Did you see it? No. It's almost worth the trip. Wasn't that nice? nice? Mm -hmm. From all that mess, there was no way I could get up there with a the tractor. I don't like working the tractor up on the side of hills. It makes me very, very nervous. I'm fine on the flat in the heated, air-conditioned comfort of the camp. Yes. <laughs> um, so I hired him to come in, and he's a big, strong guy. And I was terrified he was going to break the only pitchfork we could find. Yeah, I don't know. It did not break finally, but I, I eventually got one of those with the four tines with the broad, the flat tines that are really yeah. dig up dirt. And I, I gave that to him as an emergency because he was so strong. I was afraid he was going to break it, but he didn't. It, it lasted. Well, if they're not on property, then they're off property. Huh? Well, I mean, do you think Janine borrowed them? Because if you can't find oh, no. them on property, I don't know where they would be. I mean, I don't know why anyone would want to take them. I mean, if they're not in the G10, I don't... They're not in the G10. I did not see them in the... It's one of those things where they're Carleen's and they may have gotten put in someplace special. Cause okay. Because she doesn't use them all the time, and so we'll put them in this back corner. And I can't find them, and that's just the wrong thing to did do. Did you check with Grace? No, I couldn't get a hold of her at that point, and I had to go to the doctors, and I just... Okay. So I gave him that other fork, and I said, when you break that one, try this one. So you're looking for your shorter special ones? Both of them. Okay. I mean, I had, I, that can... one, I had that one big, long one, and I, I'm pretty sure Janine doesn't have any, because she has her own. I don't know. I hers just, are not the same I'm as mine. I'm just asking, because I... I mean, I... We, each, we each had our own 
preference in the if she yeah. didn't like mine I didn't like hers so I would doubt very much she'd take mine okay well then I'll, I'll ask although Grace. I did not look in the horse trailer oh you wouldn't be in the horse trailer you wouldn't leave a pitchfork in the trailer when you go ship animals you in. Would no think I don't not, think it right? would be there but that's about the only place I didn't look huh so when somebody steals your pitchfork it's a bad day no I know <laughs> I know I don't know no, I don't use it every day of the week or year Ah, uh, blah, 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 blah. Someone said, I watch so many pets. I see so many bizarre crap. I watch so many people paying so much for crap. Stupid surgeries. Pet insurance just adds to the madness. It scares me. This is like a, I'm not sure. What is, I, just a statement. Someone's scared of the paying for surgeries and pet insurance. and. Oh. But pet insurance has some be benefits now, I think. Well, I mean, I think it depends on the dog and how much you or the animal and how much you use it and what you're paying. I would think my a whole approach to insurance is if you can have catastrophic insurance cheaply, then that's probably worth it. Yeah. But if you're just buying insurance to cover all your insurance stuff, no, the insurance company is going to make a profit off you. Furthermore, when you have insurance, that's, I, don't know, the vet. I know of one case with the VA, the VA covers the veterans' veterinary expenses with the dogs. And I know of one case where the, some veterinarian did every single test he could think of with a dog, kept it overnight, and ran up a $20,000 bill that the VA paid. And I really didn't think that was a good idea. Yeah. I came very close to reporting it, but I really didn't know how to report it, and so I forgot about it. But I still remember it made me really mad. Okay, I guess that's, that's from me. For everything. Found nothing wrong with them. I think that's from me going backwards because originally they asked about pet insurance. I'm not, so. find, I'm not finding the stick. I'm not reading this at all. I'm just looking for the pictures of the okay. stick. Now they're talking about the hyperbaric chamber. Make me wonder oh, yeah, if I'm we, on the we, same. We talked about that already. Okay, so we're done. That's Megan's stuff. All right. Sorry about that. Folks. All right. Grace had a shortest one with a handle in the stalls this morning. I'll I'll message Grace and we'll see. These works are a very personal thing. Someone said when I was there. Michelle said when I was there, there were a few outside, and then the good ones were in the section in between the donkeys and the dogs where the stairs are. Okay, well, let me tell you about those. <clears throat> the ones that were down the hall where they're talking about, there are about 27 of the kind that are very lightweight and the pl very often plastic. They're really sort of baskets for you to shake the poo out of them. Mm -hmm. These were, mine were metal ones that you just shovel with. Someone said they think that the ones with flat tines are spading forks? Well, the spading, that was what I got out of. That's a dirt thing. Okay. That's for digging in a garden. And I did give one. Those are very strong, so I did give one to that guy because I was sure he's going to break the other one. Um, but the ones you're referring to outside, that everybody, oh, great, here they are. They're three times. They're three. And those are to fluff up hay or to pick up hay out of a, you know, to gather hay together in a pile or something. Mm -hmm. They're very specific for that. Hello. Is there anything else you need me to do? Uh, I think we're good with all the chores. Okay. All right. So you're going to head out and we'll do the same shift for the, until you catch up on ours? Yep. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, just, just don't forget to check out. Punch the clock. Yeah. Yes. Um, it's wonderful that Jerry has spent so much time with Audrey and her Buckeyes. I think it's beginning to drive her nuts. <laughs> that is true. It's been very helpful for us. It's been very helpful. It's absolutely right. And, and she's relatively painless. Yes. Yes. You know. Um, have you heard how amazing Annie is doing? He was going to try and bring her up here. Well, that was before we got in trouble with the Illinois chili lady. Indiana. Did you hear about that one? I did. Indiana. Indiana chili. Yeah. I don't know what happened to her. Uh, last I heard, she was being discharged yesterday or today and was supposed to be going home tomorrow. Going back to Indiana? Yeah. 
but that was through Grace, who heard through whatever. Hey, hang on. No diagnosis. Thing. Yeah, I would think. Uh, I don't know. She was only one ambulance ride that day. The other was Linda Gallo. Dehydration. Got dehydrated or something. That's why we have grommet. Is she still in the hospital? I'm not sure. We've got to email her. Well, we still have grommet. That could be. Yeah, she had her friend Paula drop him off. Okay, they asked about the donkeys, if they pregnant ones have names. One is Harley, one is Gigi. Will pockets get as big as Mo? No. Pockets will get half as big as Mo. Oh, Aunt Nanny Pam, just in case you were not aware, today is National Pasta Day. I heard that. Is it? Yeah. Oh, so okay. dinner, we, we have leftover spaghetti, so that's our pasta core quota. We do have some mac and cheese, but we also have potato skins and salad and some kielbasa and beans. And we have, we must have some blue cheese dressing. We have lots of blue cheese dressing. <laughs> <laughs> we have two containers. I toss to the oldest and we have the two freshest containers. I'll have the freshest. Yeah. Okay. And while I'm on the topic of, of donkeys having babies, please stop telling me what to name them. Oh. Somehow, my animals do very well if we kind of let them name themselves. And I'm really kind of tired of getting all these things about, why don't you name them this? And why don't you name them this? And you should name them this. And how come you're not naming? You know, come on, guys. You know? Every once in a while, I put my foot down, like Pockets. Didn't I have to insist on You named Pockets. Yeah, yeah. damn it, Pockets. She's got a good name. But uh. I just tell you, I'm not... Furthermore, every time you single out one animal out of a out of a bunch and, and do something special with it, that's the one that has a problem sometimes. Mm. It just goes that way. So stop with the name calling. Okay. Please and thank you. Uh, just wondering, who is relatively painless, Jerry or Audrey? Well, Jerry's relatively painless. Yeah. Audrey's well behaved. Yeah. <laughs> What's for dessert? Uh, I can't do that. And in two days, we have cake day. Oh, God. You Appreciation day coming up. Cake day. Cake day might end up being key lime pie day. That would be fun. Would that be good? Yep. <coughs> oh, my. Get out the candles. Positive thoughts and pray, healing prayers. Oh, that's for Annie and Chili. My dissertation this morning on the different sections of New York. I really kind of backed off. I don't usually back off, but I usually backed off. Both political parties this year chose candidates from New York. Hmm. Now, in the various sections of New York, you have the Italian section, which we just plain could not live without, and I think they invented pizza there. I don't think pizza came from Italy. Huh. I'm correct. Somebody find out about that one. I don't think pizza came from... And then we have the Chinese section of New York. Yeah. And they're the ones that invaded spaghetti and Chinese food. Mm -hmm. And then they gave the spaghetti to the Italian Italians. people and everything was fine. I don't think the Puerto Rican section has a, a noted food. Probably not. So therefore, it's not held in the same regard as those nationalities that have a distinctive food associated with oh, them. Oh, okay. So therefore, People's opinion of the Puerto Rican section in New York is just not the same as it would be of the Italian or the Chinese section because they have food. Well, I personally wondered if our current president even realized that Puerto Rico was a territory of the United States. But well, I, that could be because you see, <laughs> you know, I wasn't sure well, if that I'm was. Well, see, New Yorker, that's a whole new ball game. Yeah, New York is a whole country. You people don't understand no, maybe about New York. You know, New York is it. Yeah. If you know the map, I right. have seen a map in my life of New York, Manhattan, and yeah. everything else is all these little tiny things. Okay. And that's exactly the mentality of a New Yorker, including myself and AJ. Yeah. I'm from New York, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Et cetera. So it was really, there was more to that daily doggy than met the eye, but I just didn't dare go too far. I've heard that pizza was not from Italy, but it's not a Google. I heard that, too. 
Uh, someone said, uh, you go, Carlene, when you said don't name donkeys. Uh, someone says, I, I watched Irma today. She is the leader. Yes, Irma is the leader of the group. But she's 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 a good little girl, but she she definitely Is she the only girl in the bunch? Yes. Good for her. Yeah, she's <laughs> she she is yeah. Um the comment there that's kind of interesting is how they have started a me too oh, something or Oh yes, me too. Yes. Me too, something I don't know exactly what that is. It is has, it is for all the women that have been sexually assaulted or harassed. They just write "me too" in their face. Was how it first started with the face in their Facebook thing, and then all the "me too" show up on people's feeds because now they're everybody's. Yeah. And most, I would say, ninety nine point nine percent women have been harassed. They have. I mean, so I, I certainly was back when I tracked satellite. Yeah, I mean, I was harassed. I mean, I think we just, all with different degrees of harassment, but yeah. harassment's harassment. Oh. If you feel uncomfortable, you're being harassed. You know, if well, I'm not, I'm not sure situation. how uncomfortable I felt or whether I was just plain bullshit. Well, <laughs> but if you're emotionally charged in yeah. some capacity from someone treating you a certain way like that. I mean, well, I, my, my, mine specifically was at the workplace. Yeah. It was ridiculous. Yeah. I think every woman of a certain age, because of the way things used to be, and worked, you know, out in the business yeah. or something, probably experienced that. That's just the yeah. way yeah. things work. But now... Well, I'm glad people aren't accepting it because... Oh, sure. Yeah, right, because nowadays Absolutely. the numbers would be different. Yeah. Or you hope they're different, yeah. you know. I, I think I think the men are learning a little bit. I really do. I, I think there's, uh, there's, two, there's two groups, shall we say. It should be putting people in groups, but they are. Yeah. No, and there are a lot of guys that come out and do all kinds of marches and support women's well, rights. There, there are guys that look you right in the eye, and there are guys that don't. Yeah. You know, when you meet somebody, you kind of know. Mm -hmm. He's one of these jolly, good old locker boys. Yeah. Good. You go back to the locker room, will you? <laughs> um, someone said, maybe I can send you some duct tape for those that are bugging you. Um, have you seen pictures of Perry Cole? I saw one picture. It was terrible. Right up his side, all the way, 50% laceration, surgical scar. Is what it looked like. Yeah. He looked like hell. I, okay. I just, I'm, I'm not in approval of that at all. Yeah. Um, Mexico for pizza. Someone Mexico wrote. invented pizza? That's what somebody wrote. Well, it must be true then. Um, but then, yeah, I no one has. I don't know. I'm. They haven't <laughs> said. I don't know who. They just wrote Mexico, and then someone. Yes, pizza is American. Italy had a way different version. So, we're still not. But Chinese was spaghetti. Chinese was spaghetti. <clears throat> then some. Me too can be male for males too. Correct. Actually, me t me too could actually be for anybody. It just the more women are participating, because men get harassed too. We just don't. Oh well, it's pathetic. Yeah. Particularly gay men. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Here's Grace. You can ask her about your pitchforks right now. Grace, the <laughs> pitchfork problem. Well, good. My, I have two pitchforks. I have the great big wide one. With a short handle with a square top, that was mine forever and ever. And then I went and bought one that went with the basket. Right. I couldn't find either one today. I don't know where the short one is, but the tall one was in the corner, and I gave it to the gentleman. Really? Yes. Yep. Oh. It's okay. in the horse corner. I couldn't find it. For it. Where all those other plastic ones are? Uh, well, where the grain tub is. Yeah, I would. I in that corner. Huh. Okay, I couldn't find that one. So just the short one's the sh missing. The short one is not. The short one was a big, strong one. It probably would have been too big for that. But if you found that other one, that's good. He did yeah, a beautiful, beautiful job. How do you like that? That's lovely. That's going to be a nice place for flowers, right? Yeah, that's a nice one, isn't it? Or sprinkles. Huh? We'll put some wildflowers on there. Sure. I don't, we don't put them on there now, though, do we? Spring. Spring. So I'm going to put the oh. winter bride on there. And some lime. I don't know how if we get the lime up there. 
gonna have to get the guy back. You can't you can't run around with that line spreading device. I can't get the car up the hill. No. I don't know how we're going to do it. Someone yeah, said he, does, he doesn't know about the Virgin Islands because he claims he spoke with the president of the Virgin Islands when he was in Puerto Rico. They're talking about Trump. Wait a minute. Okay. He needs a geography lesson. Yeah. Well, I... That's what happens when you have somebody that's in a position like that that doesn't have any education on stuff. Well, they don't know. He, they, it's, it's a business. They person. don't know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, beyond their business realm. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, there's a specialization here. That, you know, that's geography. That's that's politics. He only, there's knows, a whole... he only knows Manhattan geography. And he can tell you a lot about Manhattan, I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, it's civics that was and always necessary. politics that aren't all. Mm-hmm. Oh, someone did this. Uh, Rob did this. Uh, he changed it to a painting uh, scenario. Where is that? Down oh, at I the, know where it is. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, those yeah, programs yeah. change them. Um, Rafael Esposito invented pizza to honor the queen consort of Italy. Mm-hmm. But I don't believe that one because I heard pizza didn't come from Italy. I don't know. Well, the Italian version of it is that way. And the margarita <laughs> pizza is still served today. What did you say? I said the, the Italian, Italian version. A pizza came about that way. Exactly. Are you st- thinking about breeding in the next litter? They won't let me think about it. <laughs> I mentioned it the other day, and Steve fell off the stool. <laughs> we we have we do have a good amount of puppies, we have puppies. and dogs. Yeah. 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 We have puppies. Well, I'm kind of kind of trying to line up training to depart compartmentalize a little bit more and see if I can get a little more work done here on the property with with dogs that say Megan and Steve start and then somebody handles for a while I don't I don't want to go in for this puppy raising at all but um, but here on the property uh, somebody like Tom uh, go out and walk the fences yeah. In every pasture, so he has one dog. Every dog, every day, he takes them out one at a time, and they just follow him around and work with them. Because the best trained dogs are barn dogs, are farm dogs that just kind of hang around with you. Mm-hmm. And I think that would be very good training for the dogs, and it might get the fences fixed. Okay. You know, and and shit picked, and and the two toys brought back in. Winter's coming, and the and the Kongs that are still out there. You know, all that stuff. Pasture maintenance. Okay. Wow. Well, working dogs at the same time. Uh, please tell Grace a big thank you for all the extra work she did with Mitch. Yes, yes. that was sad, but we did we did what we could, and that, it just wasn't meant to be. Okay, I think, wait, somebody put a... You're not oh, Vermont Country Store, that's... Pizza was a twist of the Italian version and the concept of the Mexican version. Made as a quick dish, dinner and food for the working bar and bar crowns uh, like 70 years ago. The first real pizza joint was in New York, but the claim to fame is a place in Chicago called Pizza Uno in the 40s, thus the war of pizza in the States. Deep dish Chicago versus... And I don't like deep dish anyway. According to Wikipedia, the term pizza was first recorded in the 10th century in a Latin manuscript from Gaeta in central Italy. Modern pizza was invented in Naples, Italy, and the dish and its variants have since become popular and common in many areas of the world. Could you shut off if any, whatever's cooking? I don't even know anymore. Uh, where are chaos and sizzle? Linda's still outside, so they're outside with That's Linda. right. She's walking around four times. Okay. How I, is she still walking around there, Jerry? Probably. Uh, they're Ugh politics. Yep, unfortunately, every now and again it comes up. I have a political filter on my Facebook, so I, ne- I barely, I rarely read it. But every how do you now get a, and again. How do you get a political filter? On my Facebook, I found some extension oh, that Facebook. said, yeah, said political filter, so I 
and then I join <coughs> Great Dane and Tiny House sites. So all I get is Great what Dane. I want on my <laughs> on my feed. Well, see, I don't get any, but I, I couldn't do that with my emails. Oh no, you'd have to you'd have to click spam or put in keywords. I think you could put a keywords in your spam filter that Every might. Every time I try it. and put in keywords, I think of a way that I might want that word. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think we're all set. Thank you so much. We're going to go move on, and we will see you again another day. There'll be David tomorrow. Bye.